phone call from the city manager. The city manager said, cease and desist. Uh, we have an art policy. It has all, all of your designs and all of your art has to go through uh, two agencies in the town, uh, Parks and Rec and the Prescott Public Library, Friends of the Pu Public Library. Um, they've created this, he created this document that was not ratified by the city council but was enforced and she had to remove her project and chose not to go forward. That was in 2001, shortly after we placed a, mo a mural down in Granite Creek Park, a uh, Granite Creek, uh, the water watershed mural beneath the Dinner Bell Cafe. We didn't have any complications with that. We had a really, a really great bunch of people that worked on that. But by 2001, at the end of 2001, he did have a problem with the Acker Park piece. So when we started the downtown mural project in 2005, we kept all of this in mind, realizing that uh, just a couple people could put the nicks on a piece of public art that's done by all. And so when we designed our mural project, we put into it all the elements of community involvement. It made it a much richer, fuller piece uh, experience for the whole community to go through, learning how art was placed in public places with respect and love for everyone here. We dealt with history, we dealt with the contemporary scene, and we projected our visions for what we'd like to see in the future. And so we placed five murals in five years in town, and only at the fourth mural, which was the, the Miller Valley mural, did we see this kind of uh, uh, reaction to what we were doing. And it came from, in that case, it was Steve Blair on his radio show, who had who came up in the beginning with, a, with an issue that was not related to the mural, or the content, or the way we built it. It was solely on the fact that we were placing a piece of public art on old brick, on an old school, one of the oldest schools in Prescott. Well, that would have been a great concern because and all along we've known that the old brick in Prescott is off limits to murals. We've never even proposed something like that. But having gone through the city historian, we knew that the bricks that we were painting on were legitimately only like 30 years old. They were not historic bricks. So that was his first argument against the Miller Valley School mural. Yeah. And then came the issue of having a piece of art put on it at all, and then it was the fact that we had these children and one being a colored child yeah. and that not being acceptable in his opinion. Well, his opinion was powerful enough to raise up a, a very large group of people complaining about it and such. And it was up, it was a situation like this. Um, it started with one idea of why it should be taken down and why it shouldn't be there and it moved on to others. And in that case, it was unfortunate that the uh, the, the statement about the, uh, about the color of the kid's skin led to the school asking us to lighten skin. That's the same sort of thing that's taken place here. Mm -hmm. This Parks and Rec has been intimidated and threatened, basically. I, I believe threatened to the point where, this, in the same context that the Miller Valley School uh, school itself was threatened, to the point where they had to make adjustments as quickly and quietly as possible. And so they said, just lighten the color of the kid's skin and everything will be fine. And after three times of having them tell me that, I, I said they finally said, um, we're not going to pay you for the project at all. So that's when, not even under my own control or whatnot, it went to the media and it became a big issue. Would we have wished that to happen? No. Do we think that was like, the, the root cause in that case was clearly ongoing. Every day, Steve Blair said something new about the color of the kid's skin, tied it together with SB 1070 and everything that they could put it in with. So the pretenses often aren't always as clear as that was. But in this case, the pretense seems to be that in the beginning it was religion and then it became a matter of just getting a piece of art on a technicality. Mm -hmm. And so we see through it, we see a precedence, we see it having happened before and such. So I'm happy to see everybody's on top of this and sees the relevance of this. If we do not say something today, if we do not keep speaking, they will silence us. Yep. This town is being sterilized of its voice. And every single person in this community, conservative, liberal, whatnot, has to have a place where they can, and if you can't do it in a park, where can you do it? Where is your free speech allowed in this country? And so, I just have that to say, this is something that's, that inevitably is not gonna stop. If it doesn't stop now, it will go on, and it'll happen that's next right. year and the year that's after right. that. Right. We may not always be here to protect it, yeah. but just, you know, as you can see, it has to be stopped now, so. Please stay vigilant, stay behind this. That's right. Let's keep the real issue in mind. And right. yeah, yeah. Let's keep that real issue in mind. It's not an isolated situation. It's not as simple as the structure. We're all concerned about safety. We all care about our children. We all care that this doesn't hurt anybody. Yeah. So what do they think we're thinking? That we're, that we're creating a weapon? Is that what they think we're doing?
but we're not. It's just a mosaic bench, and we're glad to have it. Glad Christy, to have this beautiful mosaic. Just know town. that you have our support, and we'll be there whenever and wherever. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah,